Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad here, bringing you another video on Double Storm. We say the gambling this time to the Scorpion. Today I'm going to talk about the top 5 singles that they actually did right in Black Ops 2. This was a much harder list to make compared to the the best things that they the worst things that they did Black Ops 2, sorry. But because they barely did anything right in this game, but I do like a couple of things that they did. So starting off with number five is the score streak, score streak system. They did this right because you actually get score towards your next streak from basically anything. Getting a tactical grenade to seize, destroying your quit, then capping objectives, destroying other, other streaks. Basically anything. I love if you use the VSET EMP and swarm. It's a really quick circle and you can really easily get a high score in the game. And it just rotates really quickly and with the VSAT EMP and small it just rotates really quickly and it's easy to get the VSAT again once you got, went through the first set. It was really good how they implemented that, like getting assist for basically anything. But in Modern Warfare 3 they didn't they had a cool with a point streak, but if like a kill for each one was good, but I like going for the score one instead. I like the score streak system better than the point streak. So that's number five of the top five things that you wrote. Number four is the campaign. It was the most absolutely perfect campaign I've ever played. It was just so fun, awesome combat action, really fun to play. I played through it five, six times. It was so fun. We never got boring. The missions were so amazing and actually interesting which made you want to play it much more and you could even create your own class in it which made it even better because I'd always make a gorilla like a weapon because they are my favourite weapons of all time but the, the missions were actually like fun because you wouldn't get bored and if you lost it but like, oh I reckon I can do that again instead of if you lost and died but oh fuck this shit and just leave but it, one, it made me want to go back and just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it because it never got boring for me it was very interesting and I hope they came out with a good campaign. Oh, and I also love that really fun machete mission with I think it was Resin off your maybe. And it was a really fun mission and I loved playing it. So that was number four. So number three is the zombies. Even though they, they, they fucked up really bad on transit, like if they actually put a decent one weapon in instead of that piece of shit jerk gun it's actually could have been a bit of better map but they did put those denizens and the fog in and the fire which were all quite annoying and the bus was always slow and you couldn't like call it like you could the tank and you couldn't choose when it would leave and all that so those those little things they could have changed and made it look a lot better but basically every other map they made afterwards transit got a lot better especially when they let the campaign campaign team take over um, Mumble the Dead and Origins are easily my favourite maps because they're just so fun, countless hours of fun. Buried was cool but it got really boring really quickly because it's just the same route, route every time that I play when I play it. Same with Diabars but it, I never really play that too much so it was pretty cool. Origins is really fun because of all the starves and everything you can do with that and the Easter Egg is fun as well. And Mob of the Dead is just another fun map because of Brutus and all that cool stuff. They just should have let the campaign team do zombies instead of the zombies team because the campaign did, team did an extremely better job than they did. But if they keep doing, like, when I play it I'm interested in the easter eggs, like the Mob of the Dead one, the Buried one or the Origins ones. If they keep doing that they're heading in a very good direction towards even better gameplay. So number two is no, it's two, yeah, right, two, is the Pick 10 system. It was a great addition to Black Ops 2 and the Call of Duty series because you can never, you could, 90% of the time you wouldn't have the same setup as someone else. But like on Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 1, like everyone would use MB7, ACR, the Famous, the Galil, the AK-47. But on Black Ops 2, you barely ever see someone with the exact same setup. Yeah, fair enough, you do see MSMCs, PDWs, M8s, A94s, DSRs, Remingtons, and all that bullshit, but it, they never have the exact same setup because you can always have, you can get two perks in each lot now, you can get short, four tacticals now, you can get a lot more things and it made it a lot more variety and a lot funner when you actually play the game. 
so that's number two. And number one is the number one thing that did right. Black Ops One. I mean, Black Ops Two is the No Last Stand or Death Streaks. The first Call of Duty since Call of Duty Four that does not have Death Streaks. I think that it because it doesn't have those Death Streaks or whatever you call it, and there's no martyrdoms coming out of someone's ass. It's just so much better and you can't get nuked across the map from dead man's hand and it's just so much funner when playing Black Ops 2 that you don't have to worry about someone falling into final stand with their invincibility hack and with pistol whip you because they fall down with invincibility and you just can kill them easily. But even though the hit detection is fucked up and this connection is really bad, with that addition of no death stand or death stand last man stand or dead man snook or martyrdom it's just making the game that much more better and that much more funner but like if they keep heading in this same direction it's the first step in many steps until one year one of these companies will make the perfect game with no faults or anything but until that day comes I don't reckon it will but it might come you never know Call of Duty Ghost this came out but we don't know how that's going to work out, so that's the end of that today, guys. Anyway, that has been my top five things that I did right in Black Ops 2. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more great content. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Bye.